Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. And here in this session, we are going to discuss about how to create username and password validation using JavaScript. So for the basic understanding, you can just see it that if we are having any form which is having two fields, let's say username and password. And if I am not putting anything here and I am trying to directly submit it without any response, it is going to give me a alert box with username and passwords are required. Even though if I am going to answer some of the fields like username, like any random thing, and I didn't fill the password, even though it should have to give me this alert box. And even though if I am going to fill out only password fill, in that case also it should have to give me alert box. In what case it should not give me alert box? When I am going to fill any, any username, and any random password. And if I'm going to try to submit it, it is going to submit it. So it is compulsory that I need to first put some username and thereafter password and then submit. Thereafter only going to be accepted. Else in every other cases, it should be give me an alert box. So this is our target and how to do this. Let's start. So inside HTML first design the form. So I am skipping this part as of now and just go to the form. You know that how to create form and we have done it many, many times, even though just see it once again. Here, the form whose name is my form on submitting, it is going to return check form. So when we are going to submit that form, it is going to return check form, right? So check form is a function which is working here. So we are going to discuss it. Let's discuss first how to create forms. So we are creating first label. The name of this label is username. And we are going to see username as I have highlighted this part in the text field before the text field. And after this label, we are accepting some input from user. And for that, we are using input tag here whose type is text. And we are going to use name as a username and ID as a username. Thereafter, in the second row, we are going to use one more label, which is password. And we are going to see the name password before it. After this label, we are expecting some password and here we are using type is a password. So whenever we are going to submit any password, it is not going to reflect the original characters on the place of that. It is going to reflect me with some bullet type of characters and ID is password and name is password. And after that one submit button is there whose type is submit and value is submit. So this is how we are going to create a form using HTML, very, very simple part, right? After that, when I'm going to submit this file, when I'm going to submit this file, uh, uh, when I'm going to click submit, as you can see here, when I'm going to click on this submit button, at that time, at that time, it is going to return check form function. And this is our check form function. So here we are going to call this function and here it is a definition of this function. So whenever we are going to call this, this is going to invoke. And here we are using two variables. One is username and next variable is password. So username is going to hold some value. Which value? The value which is written by user and it is going to fetch using document.forms from my form username. And similarly, it is going to hold the second variable value that is password from document.forms. The name of form is my form and the value is password. Correct? which we have already defined here. Now, if username is nothing, it means that if username is empty or password name is also, password is also empty. In that case, we are using an alert. This function is going to return user and passwords are required. This is going to pop up an alert message over the browser and going to reflect, please enter username and password. They are required right and return false. It is only going to return true when we are going to return some username and some password name. Correct. So <clears throat> this is about check form function. This check form function is going to return true if we are going to enter something on it. And this is all. This is about all using password and username and password validation. So just run it once again. And uh, you can see right now if I am going to click it, Username and passwords are required. Okay, let's put some username. I am not putting password. Again, pop-up box. Okay, 
I am only putting this time password. It is going to in the bullet form because you know the value was type was password. Again, pop-up box because I haven't entered username. This time I am going to enter username as well and submit it. And this successfully submitted. This is what we have to do in username and password validation type. The very simple concept of functions, very simple concept of functions and variables and if conditional statement. I hope it is clear to everyone. Further, if anybody have any doubt or any confusion or any query, feel free to ask. Thank you so much. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.